So our journey began from Minnesota all the way to the Tetons um, with a stop at Badlands and um, another stop in Yellowstone. So the commute time took us about two days to get there and here's some highlights from our trip. And this was done last year. Uh, I just haven't had time to stitch them all together so hope you guys enjoy. Thanks. So as you enter um, the Badlands, it's kind of an interesting atmosphere. It's a desert just in the middle of the Great Plains and these crazy rock formations and some of the worst mosquitoes I've ever had to encounter. So um, here are some wildlife shots and some videos that I took uh, out there. Um, other than that, it wasn't too much to report. It was just super hot during the day and then it got pretty chilly at night. Um, we did head up to the amphitheater at night to go see some stars or uh, I think the last um, ranger thing was about prairie dogs. So yeah, I'd say a good stop for kids, um, but you know, I would, I would definitely check it out. So by now um, we're, we've exited the Badlands and now we're approaching the Bighorn uh, National Forest and Pretty much, there's a few paths you can go to get to the Yellowstone or the Tetons, but we decided to go with more of a scenic route. And this, I highly suggest going through here because it's pretty neat to see the, the mountains. You're just going up the, essentially up the mountain and going over it instead of around it. And it is pretty cool. So make sure you guys go that route if you guys have a little time and um, if time permits. So. Here's some clips. The next leg of our trip after we exit uh, Bighorn was um, driving through Cody, which I freaking love. Cody is such a cool little town. They have a museum that literally takes probably two or three days to go through. Um, I highly recommend that. And they have some pretty good restaurants there as well. Um, but in order to streamline our trip, we ended up going to, uh, since our main destination was the Tetons, um, staying at the the most southern park within Yellowstone only because by the time we got to this park it was like 8 or 9 p.m. and all we wanted to do is eat food set up our sh um, camp and then get the heck out of there the next morning so we ended up staying at Grant Village Lodge um, it's it it, it kind of felt like sardines in a can very uh, um, not private very compact from from one campsite to another, so I didn't, I didn't really like it. It was clean. Um, they had uh, bear accommodations and everything like that, but you know, wasn't wasn't my favorite campsite in the world. But you know, it was the most uh, southern spot, so I totally enjoyed staying there. I guess since it was like twenty six bucks. We're at the home stretch, so um, finally got the Tetons. I think it only took like an hour at most, 50 minutes to drive from Grant Village down to Teton. So we got there pretty quick after we disassembled our campsite. And um, let me tell you, I'd say if I had to pick between Yellowstone and Tetons and I had seven days, I'd do two days in Yellowstone, take care of that one major uh, attraction spot, and then go down to Teton. It's a lot um, slower moving, walk. less touristy, less uh, buses. RVs, etc., and the scenery is just, it's, okay. it's phenomenal, that's all I can say. So, um, I'll roll in some clips and try to annotate some stuff, but like I said, the wildlife was so awesome. <laughs> that's all I have to say. Grand View. Grand View Point, the drive to it, pretty rugged. If you got a car, don't drive through it. Spent 30 minutes hiking up a how many miles? 0.86 miles up. And our view. Tell me your thoughts. It's amazing. That's all I need to hear. And that's. 
That's inspiration. No, that's the uh, Hermitage right there. And there's a little island out. Okay, look at my camcorder. Look. It looks like a moose. It's a moose. Yeah, Guaranteed so moose. And that thing looked huge. It's a moose. Look at his mouth. I know it's hiding behind something, but it seriously looked so big. It's a moose. Well, I guess it's just in the end. It's a, it's a female, not a bull. Okay, we, we spotted the once in a lifetime moose, guys. Here's the final stretch to the falls. Awesome view. My hiking companions. Hidden Falls. Not too hidden. No. Cascade Canyon. Right at ya. Friends walking with us. I'm doing a little horseback riding. Oh, your horse has got so much gas. This is BB. First time on a horse. Watch out for stick. Exactly. You're living, you're having fun, enjoying it. Oh my god! This is a huge potty. <laughs> the end is near. The end is near. Three hours, give or take. It's 11.20 now. And that was awesome. My riding partners. It looks, it looks deer elk more than moose, don't you think? I don't see a huge thing. There's an elk or a deer. Cute. Oh, cute. Hello. Good morning. Oh my goodness. Good morning. Good morning. Goodbye.